Hey folks, Species7 here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Mad Games Tycoon by a company called Egg Code. This is very much like the um, Game Developer Tycoon, which was an awesome game in my opinion. Uh, I played it through several times and if anything found it, well, maybe just a little easy to be... Uh, to get real rich real quick. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was just luck. I think a lot of it was uh, random number generators actually being in my favor for a change. But we have this. It's in early access. It's available on Steam. And in its early access form, it seems to be about um, about where Game, Deval or where Game Tycoon was. And there's apparently a little, there is a little more here and a whole bunch more coming. So we're going to, I put my name in here, just, well, let's go for a random. Sierra, <laughs> okay, uh, obviously a take on Sierra games. Uh, Highland games. Well, what the heck, I got a little Scottish in my background. Let's go with Highland games. We get to choose a company logo. We've got Active Vision. We've got Pandai. We have hmm, EA. Man, it ain't gonna be them. Oh, uh, what else have we got? We've got Capcom, <laughs> Qatari. Uh, I think we're gonna go with a claim. And as for our country, now where you pick your country actually gives you a a free little unlock. Now, being Canadian, I'm gonna pick Canada. That gives me an engine unlock. Now, easy start gives you a small office building, etc, etc. It's a, a little more coin, etc. So, I'm not going to go easy start, but if we accept, then we get to develop character skills. They give us a few extra points to spend. Well, game design, I can only help think that's important. And programming is important. Uh, graphics, sure. And music and sound will give one point as well. And then we will get into our last point we'll throw in there. Okay. We'll pick those specs. And we're going to try it on easy. So here we go. Mad Game Tycoon. Initially, many functions are disabled, but you sort of unlock them as you go. So first thing we want to do is pick this guy up. No, we can't drop them into that one. So we're going to have to actually build ourselves a development studio. So let's do that, shall we? And let's go... Hmm, say from there to... Uh, there. Sure. Oops. Okay, we'll accept that. And we will put a door right here. Okay. Now, we're going to want to put in some kind of a workstation. A T1. A T2. And they're all a little more expensive. And then we have this. That's kind of nice. It's 2100 bucks. Um... What else have we got here? I guess these are pretty much the same thing, just a little fancier. They don't seem to... Uh... Oh, I see. Here we go. This is a two-star. And... Hmm. Can we rotate? There we go. Uh, sure. I'm going to go with that as a start. And okay, um, I didn't just get rid of that, did I? And maybe we'll get a second cheaper desk and put it right there. Okay, and we're good. Now, what we need to do is grab Buddy. Come here, dude. And let's drop him into his desk. Oop. Where are you going, man? 
No? Get over there. Let's develop a game. You can see the guy down there has been popping up and going, um... Alright, random game name. Never Ending Fantasy, GTX, Apple City, Full Life, Double the Fun, no. Shenmue, Wii Sports, no. Assassin's Need for Creed. <laughs> okay, oh, Life the Eventual Death. Alright, we're gonna go with that. We will select a genre. Let's go with, hmm, skill game. Trend right now is arcade, eh? So let's stick with the trend. Let's get a topic, an arcade topic, eh? Let's go with fantasy. What else? We don't yet have an engine available, so we're gonna have to go without. And next, here we go for the platform. There's only one currently available. So we will have to take that. And here's where we get to kind of figure out where we want things to go. And it's give and take, like gameplay takes away from graphics. However, we do want lots. Uh, we're not so concerned with the story. We want lots of functionality. Uh, beginner friendly, sure. Core gamer or casual? Well, let's lean one, to, whoops, one towards core. That looks good to me. Now, we have, we get to use 100% here. Graphics, we want to be pretty high-end. I'm going to throw 25%. Oop, that's 30. Can I get a 25? There we go, 25%. Technology, I'm going to do the same. And gameplay, we're going to do the same. And then we will take up even split, I guess. Huh. Uh, let's go one more notch on there okay and we are going to have it in english because it's the only one currently unlocked that'll give us canada the u.s etc etc so now these things we can entire graphics consists only of text characters hmm, pc speaker sound that's about all we have at this point because well we don't have an engine yet and he will start creating now while he's creating, I think what we also need is a bathroom. So, let's, uh, no? Hmm, how about over here? Okay, let's create that as our bathroom. I believe it's the smallest one and a door. Uh, right there. Okay. Naughty Chicken has just developed well, something. <laughs> so yeah, this continues on much like this. Now we do have, this will take us to our main menu. You can save games, you can do all of those things. This allows you to buy new buildings. Here we have a stat, which probably isn't going to show much at the moment because we really haven't done anything yet. Um, this again, this is our furnishings, and there is a lot more going on here. Now head office, these are locked, but we can buy cabinets, we can buy seating, we can buy some miscellaneous goodies to help us along, coffee machines, water coolers, fire extinguishers, we can get some stuff for our staff room, which we don't yet have, uh, training rooms, ooh, server rooms, production, well we can start producing our own stuff, very expensive though. Uh, storerooms, and uh, toilets. Um, I suppose we should actually have one, huh? There we go. Alright, put a toilet in, and we'll put a sink in. There we go. Alright, that should make us a little further along. How's our buddy coming here? 30% of the way through the game. Now, we are in year one, month two, week two. Okay. Arcade hunting, 65 weeks. Okay. 
Well, I don't think we developed a hunting title. This will allow you to buy engines and all of that sort of thing, but I don't think there's actually any ready yet. Oh, he's off to the bathroom. There we go. Come on, dude, don't spend all your time in there. New research. Sprites. Oh, goody. That'll make our second game much better than our first, won't it? Can you change anything? Development report? Oh, yeah. So far... PC speaker sound progress, 66%. Okay. Get back out there and get to work, boy. So, Species 7, Highland Games. Alright. You can uh, hire staff here if you'd like. And we have 85k less, or left, I should say, out of our original. So let's just see what happens once he develops this game, shall we? And again, much like Game Dev Tycoon, you probably really don't know what it is you do or do not want to develop. And there's nicks for a tutorial on this right now, really. Okay, new research, RPG, nice. Naughty Chicken has released the game, Droid of Sunshine. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, Life the Eventual Death is now finished. Okay. Now, it's been completed. Test patterns have already been sent to all gaming magazines. Would you like to produce the game itself, or do you want a contract with a publisher? Well, as you can see, we don't yet have that going on. So we'll have to get ourselves a publisher. And... Uh, Ego Shooters Fan Base Arcade. So these guys would probably pay off, because it is an arcade-style game that we built. So let's go with them. And these are the things we get for that. And we get a little boost to all of our levels. Okay. First game is completed. You can now build the research area. Then you can research new features, genre, and themes for your games. And here we go. We're getting our ratings. Ooh, not good. Not worth a look. Ew. Yuck. Well, so we didn't do that great. But we'll see. It'll make us some money. Let's, um, we can now build a research room. So, if we hold the right mouse button in, that will allow us to, uh, do what we need to do there. I guess that's the minimum size. As near as I can tell, oh, no, we can go a little smaller. So let's do that, except... Let's put a door in. There we go. Now, what do we need to put into a research room? Not bathroom things, I shouldn't think. Server. Training. Oh, I see. Okay. These things all list. Staff room. Miscellaneous. Seating. Cabinetry. Head office. Okay. Support, research, and marketing. So I take it they want us to chuck another computer in here? Is that the deal? Hmm. Okay. Now. Research genres. Research features. Sprites, required research points, 10,000. Oh. And I currently have 50. Alright, so, what you need to do, dude, is develop a new game. We are going to call this one a live space. I like that. Uh, choose the type of game. Retail, MMO, or free-to-play retail. We are going to go with, currently... Popularity is still arcade hunting, hey? So let's make another arcade game. Um, we are going to go with another fantasy game. Uh, we don't yet have an engine, so we'll have to go to next. They only have this platform, so we'll go to next. Now, on this one... Select a copy protection, but that's still locked. We want a little more of this, a little more of this, and a little atmosphere. We want 
to apply to these guys. Oops, didn't quite want to go that far. And we want really good graphics if we can. Next, let's go here again. 25% on that. I don't really care about the sound. Let's get our technology way up there. And let's go for a 30% there. Okay. And we're still here, so start development. Now, what I probably want to do at this point, if I had the money for it... Oh, see, we're gaining a little money, because we're actually selling a few games. Life the Eventual Death, we sold a couple thousand units. So, maybe what we'd like to do here at this point, and this will probably be, is let's hire staff. Okay, economic simulators and simple AI... This guy is skill games and PC music. This guy is arcade Ooh, and graphics development. I like him. Let's hire this fella. And put him at this desk. Whoops. No, no. Right there, dude. There we go. And he will start to help. So now we've got Michelle Baker. He's also helping us to develop our game, as you can see. Bloop, 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 bloop. And maybe we'll get better with two guys. So as you can see, we've already sort of gotten a little bit past um, what was available on Game Dev Tycoon. And as I say, it's still very, very early. Uh, publishers, developers, Highland Games, company name, company logo... I don't know why that would be a statistic. Charts. All time. Weekly. Oh, I see. Phew. There's our game. We're not doing near as good as these other companies at the moment, obviously. What else can we look at? Finances. Engines. We have no engine. That's fine. Publishers. Platforms. My games. Reviews. Got a 34%. And... Ooh, this is the money they've generated so far. And game concepts. And just that one. Okay. Let's close that out. We are 80% of the way to developing our new... Uh, we could... Whoops. A new game engine. The manager's office, you can buy the engine. Okay. Oh, we got this one. This game is now done. Alright, a 20 on gameplay, a 28 on graphics, 17 on music, and a 14 on that. So, let's find a publisher. Let's stay with these guys. Okay. As you can see, all of our stats start to push slowly up the board. Alright, you can now buy a new dev kit to develop games for other platforms. Cool. Ooh, looks like we're gonna... Oh, come on. 34, 35, it's a little better. 36. Oh, that's all we got on that one. 36%. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. So, if we have a better engine... Ooh, optimized for skill games, hey? Eh? Freakscape. No, I don't know. What about um, dev kit? Personal. Ooh, for the Qatari twenty six hundred. Ooh, it's a lot of money, but it's gonna make us a lot of money. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna buy that. Okay, we now have two platforms. You guys, you need two. Uh, launched a marketing campaign for Life the Eventual Death. Cool. Way to go, dude. Let's develop a new game. Um, the Legend of Nelda. Sure. We know that'll do well. And we're going to, this time, I think, try a skill set game. We are going to deal with, once again, a fantasy genre. Uh, we don't have an engine yet. Hmm. Next. We are going to build this one. 
see, it's 5,000 to build for that. It's 15,000 to build for that. Wow. Ooh, 19,000. We're going to go back to the PC for one more go. We are going to go... Uh, big story, big atmosphere, really beginner-friendly, and really casual. Let's see how that does. And we will go... Eh, reasonable on that. We're going to go 25, even across the board. Next. And start. Id Software has released The Stolen Crown. So I think, guys, that we're going to hold her about here and see if we go broke or get better. Let's say, I just wanted to give a... There we go. Um, here's your screens by the way you get to choose resolutions graphics settings master volume music volume i have it turned off uh etc so but i think as i say we're going to call it here if you guys would like to see some more of how this game develops well i'd be kind of keen on actually going through and see how we do so ooh, four stars but i don't know what they're for quality of the office oh okay so I take it I could have up to four people working there if I wanted to. Anyway, um, yeah, this has been an early alpha look again at our mad game developer. And uh, looks really promising. Available on Steam. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Leave comments. I always answer them. And until next time, well, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.